Hello guys, in this video we are going to see how to display a data uh, table in the screen flow. So uh, our use case is pretty simple, like um, we need to display all the uh, related contacts from the accounts on the opportunity object. So uh, opportunity has the relationship of the account and we are going to fetch uh, the, uh, contacts from that account record and we have to display as a table. Like, displaying all the contacts as a table and the user uh, have to uh, choose either any one of the contact from that list as a primary point of contact so we have a requirement uh, for that uh, so it will be looking like this uh, but yeah let's go ahead and uh, create a new flow uh, all right let's uh, get started so i'm going to my flow page and here i am going to create a new flow so for this scenario we have to select screen flow and create and the first component would be uh, getting the opportunity id right so uh, here on this opportunity record we uh, we have this uh, primary poc so the screen flow would behave like um, from this action button so I'll, uh, I'll use this existing action button to create like, launch the new flow that we are going to create so as soon as they launch the flow uh, the screen flow needs to get the space opportunity id uh, get passed to that uh, uh, screen flow so then only it will get all the uh, related account and the related contacts from that account so that it will get displayed so for uh, that the first component would be the get records and i'm going to use get opportunity okay and object is opportunity and opportunity id so we are going to uh, create a resource here let's say id and select that as a text available for input and select the default value as flow current record where is the current record okay yeah this is so this um, variable would fetch the base record id and it will capture uh, it in the in this variable so we are just matching id like uh, equals id so that we'll get that uh, only the first record and automatically for all the things so it will just to get grab the opportunity id and now uh, the second option is to get all the contacts associated with that account related to this opportunity so it would be another kit but this time is on the contacts contacts and object is contact so what I'm going to do is I have I'm going to match it with the account ID. So contacts account ID and opportunities account ID. Uh, so when this condition matches, then it will bring all the related contacts for this account. So yep, and I wanted all the con contacts since. Uh, account ha account will have multiple contacts and we have to select one of the contact as a primary uh, point of contact for this opportunity so i need all the records and automatically store all the fields so now uh, we have to display all the contacts uh, we got from this previous con get contacts right so i'm going to create a new screen here Let's call this as a related contact list. And 
you should be seeing something like the data table component here just add it here and give the name contacts and so this is just the label so if you want to change it you can change it for but for now i'm just going to use the same label as a table title and configure data source so here um, the data source is nothing but the list of uh, contacts that we got in the previous get element right so uh, just select this uh, contacts from the get contact so since we are uh, getting all the contact all, all the list of records uh, it will behave that uh, behave as a collection so we can just use that get contacts uh, in the source collection field here and configure rows so here they have given multiple options like uh, you can use multi select or single select or uh, view only so if that is a multi select say in case if you are displaying uh, five or 10 uh, list of records on the in the table so you can um, uh, restrict the user uh, from like uh, selecting a minimum selection as one and the maximum selection as five or something so that um, if you are displaying five, 10 records user cannot uh, select more than five so that's uh, that is what uh, these uh, sections like uh, does but in our scenario we don't want to use this multiple select uh, since we are going to just select only one POC right so I'm just going to use this single um, radio button and so yeah even we can make that as a required field uh, for the user so we are just reinforcing the user to select that uh, from that list and the next section is configure columns uh, it is nothing but uh, what what are all the uh, columns that we wanted to display on that list table right so yeah for me i wanted show the name and so this checkbox is used to uh, uh, rename the field right so if you don't like the custom label or if you want to uh, display something uh, from the name of that field different from the name of the field then you can use this custom label but yeah i'm okay with this so click done and add the second field saying uh, title click done so if you notice um, as soon as i add these fields uh, it is just getting added um, here in this table so the next field is email and then so let's see it's getting added here and the next one i wanted to add here is the phone right it's done and the next one is the component visibility i just wanted to show uh, all the time and advanced mm, no i'm not doing going to do anything not here now and then so till this what we did is like um we are getting the opportunity uh, record id uh, from that page uh, on this get element here and here we are getting all the list of related contacts from that uh, opportunity account right and uh, here we are just displaying uh, it in the table like data table but now um, we wanted to update this primary poc field with the selection right so so once it is displayed to the user user will select one of the uh, item from the table one of the contact list from the table and then we have to update that record uh, update that selection as a primary con point of contact on the opportunity record so for that we have to select update update op uh, yeah so 
opportunity is the object and here id same condition we used uh, on the get element so id equals record id and we are going to update the primary point of contact with the selection from the screen component so screen component selection and the first selected row by the user and we have to pass the id it's nothing but the contact id all right i think that's all i think so let's see okay so let's save it let's debug to just see whether it is getting passed correctly so let's pass the id of the opportunity in the input screen here cool so it is displaying the contacts associated with that account so let's do this i'm going to activate this flow and here okay so here uh, i have created this button to launch the screen flow from the opportunity record so i'm going to edit this button and uh, select the flow that we have created recently so update primary poc is our new flow saving it all right so i'm going to my opportunity field opportunity record refreshed it so we don't have primary poc as of now and i'm going to launch my flow that we have created so this is the button so if you see here it is just displaying uh, the list of contacts associated with this account here so for now i am going to select since we have um, uh, mentioned like we have to select a single record from that list right table list so it is just displaying as a radio button so if you selected multiple then it um, it, it will be in the checkbox uh, option here so i'm just selecting barbara now next cool so yep it is updated as a primary contact and yeah that's how we do so just just simple things right so we have to just pass the id of the base record get all the uh, list of records that you wanted to display and display it, in, uh, it on the screen flow and do your action that's that so yep let me know if you have any questions and we'll see in our next video